Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we'll be speaking about Manchester United's 3 0 victory against Nottingham Forest. United, United. Blessings to everybody inside. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas, and I hope you're relaxing <laughs> over this period as well. Same to you, Cappy. Manchester United 3, Nottingham Forest 0 at home, at OT. First game back in the Premier League since the World Cup has ended and it was just perfect. What a return it was to the Premier League. Goals from Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial and Fred late on sealed what was a good performance on both ends of the pitch. We still had a few players out like Diogo Dolo, uh, Lissandro Martinez who came back in training on Wednesday and a few more. Still a strong side nonetheless and the difference in quality was clear to see that day at least. Nottingham Forest uh, in the first goal got beaten, really fed asleep for that corner routine. It was an excellent routine. Christian Eriksen just playing it across the ground, put a perfect bit of power on it. And while Varane just blocked out the defender, that gave an opportunity for Marcus Rashford to run around and just side foot it into the back of the net. Just guy that used the power of Christian Eriksen's pass to just slap it into the back of the net. And so he did. Second goal showcased our devastating speed from back to front. Bruno in a half picking out Marcus Rashford who runs down that left wing, chops Serge Aurier into the stands and plays it to Tony Martial who side footed the ball in from just inside the area. Wayne Hennessy looked to have stepped in the opposite direction at the wrong time there. I think the game fizzled out a little bit towards the end of the half and that led to Forrest being back in the game for at least a couple minutes before VAR choked it off due to Willy Body's knee being beyond the last defender. In the second half, United had some opportunities as well looking back at it. In the not so interview after the match on Prime Video, that's the best way I could describe it. Patrice Evra was more so demanding and telling Eric what he wanted to see and one of them was for the team to be more clinical and ruthless in front of goal. Ten Hag also touched on the fact that United need another striker sooner rather than later. So where do you all stand when it comes to the January transfer window? Will it be a loan move, permanent deal or nothing until the summer? With this whole ownership thing up in the air, I find it difficult to see how this January could go in terms of investing. Maybe you bring in a couple guys alone and wait for everything to be concluded, which it hopefully will be by the summertime. Let us know in the comments below. We came back and went through in the cup against Burnley. Good game, good result. But then all of a sudden, the eyes and attention switched over to this game against Nottingham Forest to see how we would fare. And I think we laid down a mark. But that only matters if we continue to push this momentum train forwards. Next stop, Molyneux. Early 12.30 kickoff. We have to wake up and prepare for this game. But strictly speaking about Nottingham Forest right now, I thought the energy we played with at times was great. I loved it. It was an entertaining game to watch as a United fan. You know, winning back the ball. In, at the right times in the right areas going from back to front in a blink of an eye and there was just so much more the chance creation which is something that we've struggled with over the past few years I just every a lot of the things I've loved about this game those are the things that I can pinpoint and bring from my mind right now I think from the counter-attack is where we did a lot of our damage and if you remember we've had some good counter-attacking moments in the past few years but we've also had some absolutely horrific ones Right now, I'm seeing a bit of organisation in the way we counter-attack. The way guys are going forwards and picking up certain positions. They understand where they need to be as everything unfolds on the pitch. And that can only get better as time goes on. Thanks. Standouts for me today. we got Luke Shaw. We played at centre-back today to cover with Rafa Varane. Harry Maguire came off the bench. He had an illness. And I believe Victor Lindelof is ill. McTominay may have been the same. I'll double-check that for you guys as well. But those guys hopefully will be coming back soon and we'll have more options as the time goes on because we need it. Shout out to Marcus Rashford who continues to look a massive threat from that left hand side. He went up top a little later after Martial came off. But 
it's still not something I and even Marcus prefers in, in certain games. Like what you said on Prime Video, he kind of explained that if he can sniff out a, a weakness within the center backs in that middle area, then maybe there will be scenarios where he plays up top. But for the most part, he enjoys to play up on that left hand side. And I have to agree with that. We got to speak about Casemiro to end this video because he was absolutely class. Winning back the ball and then having the quality to progress it as fast and as accurate as possible. Playing from back to front in a blink of an eye, which is something we just mentioned. That's the quality he offers in the middle of the park. Look at the third goal where the game is open. And Emmanuel Dennis, to be fair, he had a shocker when he came on for Nottingham Forest. But he gives the ball away. Poor pass and Casemiro shows the desire to get ahead of everybody. Win back that ball, takes a couple touches, gets his head up, finds Fred. And you know what happens after that. 3-0, game over, Golasso setting. Football is a game of seconds, even milliseconds. Timing is everything. And against Nottingham Forest, whether it was his challenges, forward play, everything was on point. Man of the match performance, oh, hands down. You guys can let us know in the comments who you thought was the man of the match. I'm sure CM as well, he'll be picking Casemiro because he was just absolute quality. But we have come to the end of the episode United Twins as always we will be back after that Wolves game expect a United Twins reaction and also be sure to click the subscribe button if you like these videos because we've got another watch along coming man like CM is going to be doing another watch along for the Wolves game live at 12.15pm on Saturday UK time of course so be sure to check that out but like we said if you've enjoyed Hit a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, share to your friends and frenemies and until the next time, we'll see you lot sooner. Yeah.